Hello everyone. You are welcome to Fuco Mathematics. And this time around, this is what we have to solve. Square root of x multiply by the cube root of um, x. This is cube root equal to 32. Now, how do we solve this to get the value of x? And how many solutions will be there to satisfy the given equation. Now hold on and um, watch. Now square root of x here is the same thing as x to the power of 1 over 2. Then multiply by the cube root of x is the same thing as x to the power of 1 over 3. And the whole of this is equal to 32. Now we are going to continue with this. Now, we have the same base, right? R recall this um, law of logarithm that says if you have x to the power of a multiplied by x to the power of b, that this will be the same thing as x to the power of a plus b. Now, because we're having the same x here, I will add these powers now, okay? So, I'm going to have x to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 and this will be equal to 32. Now let me work with the exponent here. Okay, so let me deal with the power. We have 1 over 2 plus um, 1 over 3. Now the fastest way to deal with this is to multiply 2 and 3. That will give us 6. Then do this. Um, then to cross multiply like 3 multiply by 1 that will give 3 plus 2 multiply by 1 and that is 2 at the end of the day we have 5 over 6 as the power right so from here now I'm going to have x to the power of um, 5 over 6 to be equal to 32 now the next question is, how do we eliminate this power from here? Because we must get the power to, to eliminate this power so that we have x to be alone and to be equal to whatever value that we will have. Now, this is what we are going to do. We have x to the power of 5 over 6, right? Okay, so to eliminate this power from here, we are going to multiply the power by its reciprocal which will give us 6 over 5 and now this reciprocal here 6 over 5 is a new inclusion right so it has to be reciprocated on the right hand side so we will have 6 over 5 on the right hand side as well now let's continue now 6 will cancel 6 and 5 will cancel 5 and then we have x to be alone on the left and it is equal to 32 to the power of 6 over 5. Now how do we get what we are looking for here? Remember there is another law again that says if you have a fraction like this as a power it means that you are to pick the the root as in this is going to be the fifth root of 32 to the power of 6 because of that fraction there right so this means our x is equal to the fifth root of 32 you must write your 5 here if this 5 is not here then it becomes square root the fifth root of 32 because of this 5 then raised to the power of 6 because of the 6 over there now the question is what is the fifth root of 32 the fifth root of 32 will give us 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 will give us some um, 32 here so we will now raise this to the power of 6 now 2 to the power of 6 is not 12 yes okay 2 to the power of 6 is going to be the same thing as 2 times 2 in 6 places and that will give us 64. So what does this mean? 
it means that the value of x in this problem is 64. And as a matter of fact, um, there is only one solution that can satisfy the given equation, and that is 64. Now, let us try to check to know if this would truly satisfy the equation. x is equal to 64 is a solution, right? But then, what is the original equation? We got square root of x multiplied by the cube root of x to be equal to 32. Now, let us work this and see to, uh, and check if we are correct. Now, square root of x now becomes square root of 64 because x is 64 multiply by cube root of x is now cube root of 64. So, will this be equal to 32? Let's continue to check. Now, square root of um, 64 is, um, okay, let's break it down this way. 64 is 8 times 8, and then multiply by here. Since we are looking for the cube root, of 64 it means that we must break 64 into 3 and i guess that will be 4 times 4 times 4 because of the cube root now will this be equal to 32 okay hold on now square root of 64 is 8 times is um 8 because we're having 8 squared here right so the square can always cancel each other so that we have 8 as a square root of 64 Okay, in case you're wondering how come the square, you know, it is 8. Remember, we're having square root of 8 squared, right? Now, this square and this will cancel each other. So, 8 is what we have. Then multiply by... Now, if you do the same thing here, you're going to have the cube root, the cube root of 4 to the power of 3. Because we have 4, you know, we have 4 in 3 places. Now this cube um this cube and the cube root will cancel so here we will have four automatically and now if you multiply this you will definitely have 32 and then what does this mean it means that we are very correct to say that x is equal to 64. this is your answer and for you to have watched to this level, I am grateful. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much.